Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally filming a tour of our baby girl's nursery. So everything is pretty much ready. So I'm ready to show you guys. So a lot of you guys have been requesting on Instagram when I posted a little picture showing a sneak peek. Everybody really wanted to see it. So today we are gonna film that for you. So we're gonna take you into her room now and we're gonna show you everything in detail. This is her bassinet. So this isn't going to be in the nursery once she's born but we're just keeping it in here for now just to save space so this will be going in our bedroom so we just have a um, little tiny mattress and the mattress protector right now but we'll probably put some cute sheets on once she's here so that is her bassinet so this is her drawers and I am so in love with these drawers so we got these from Pottery Barn and we also got a matching bedside table which I'll show you after. So this is actually going to be her change table as well. So this is a separate change top and we have all of her little essentials here. So we've got some baby wipes, we've got some of her creams, some moisturizer, a little massage balm when she comes out of the bath. We'll give her a little massage. We've got a little grooming kit here, which is so cute. So when we need to trim her nails, brush her hair, all of that stuff, all of the goods are in there. And we've got some of her cute dummies here, or pacifiers. And this is the little mat, and we just got a little cover for it. So this is where we're gonna be changing all of her smelly diapers. And then this is where we're keeping all of her diapers stacked. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them out all the time just because when they do get lower, I feel like it might get a bit messy if they're not all compact. So I might move them into a drawer later on. So I am going to film a separate video showing you guys all of my favorite pieces and clothes and baby essentials because this video will be way too long if I do that in this video. But I'll show you quickly a little bit inside her drawers. So these are some of her bigger clothes. So these are going to be the stuff that she wears when she's about six months. Old. And in here it's nice and full because it's all of her newborn clothes. So we've got some really cute little outfits. So all her newborn clothes are pretty plain and simple. I didn't get anything too crazy just because they do sleep a lot. So all of her really cute outfits are more for when she's like three months onwards. But everything that I've got for her for like the first three months are all just really simple rompers little pants, little singlets. So don't mind that I'm wearing my slippers to film, but my feet are cold and it's the only thing that's comfortable right now. So this is her baby rocker. So this will most likely be in the living room or in the kitchen or in the garage, wherever I am, I'm gonna move this around. So it's really light and easy and it is a rocker. So I can rock this or she can just sit in there and play on her own. So I thought that was really cute and that is from Baby Bjorn or Baby Bjorn, how do you say it? <laughs> these are her bookshelves and I love these bookshelves and Ricky who's filming right now actually put them up with my dad and they did an amazing job. This is her bookshelf slash decorative shelf where I wanted to put anything decorative in the room. I did get these pictures off Etsy so we just got some safari animals. But I didn't feel like hanging them on the wall. I didn't feel like it was the safest option because I would have wanted to put them above her cot and that's just not the safest thing in case she goes and reaches for it or if it falls. So we decided to put them here and I got this little flower crown from a Sephora event that I went to and I don't really like the rhino so I love all of the animals but I feel like the rhino is a little bit angry so I wanted to cover its face which is so mean but I think that looks super cute now. And then back over here, we have all of her books. So she doesn't have too many books yet. I just wanted to get my favorite ones and put them on display. So we have some little animal books. Who remembers The Very Hungry Caterpillar? So I feel like everybody around our age would know these books. And down here, we have the spot books. So I really wanted to keep everything traditional and everything that we grew up reading. So I thought that was cute. And then this book is a book that my sister-in-law bought me called Baby Love. And it's just pretty much a dictionary for babies. So I'm still yet to read that. And Ricky always tells me I should probably read it by now. But I feel like I'm going to forget everything. So I'd just rather go back and read the stuff when I need to know. So we've got some swaddles here. So I got the Aiden and Aeneas Bambi swaddles. So I do have some more, but I just put two of them on display. So I don't feel like you need too many of them. So I've only got like 
four or five swaddles. I've got a few more up here and just a little baby blanket and then a little security blanket which she can take in her pram. And over here I have my favorite shoes of hers. So I got these made by Crystallized Couture. She custom blinged these for our baby girl. So I can't wait for her to wear these. So I did get them in a size one. So she will be wearing these pretty much straight away. So I'm super excited to see her in those. So down here we have her toy box. So there's no toys in there yet because she won't be playing with toys until she's a bit older. So we're just using it as a little display. So we got her Gucci blanket and that's just the bag for that. And in here is her change bag. So we spoiled our girl and we got her Gucci change bag. So I'll show you guys that now. So this is her change bag. So I did want to get something that's more unisex and something that is a little bit masculine because obviously Ricky's going to be taking her out and changing her diapers too. And I thought it would be cute if our next baby is maybe a boy. We can use it for him too. I mean the other ones are really cute as well but when we saw this one we just fell in love with it. So it does come with a little change mat as well which is so cute. So when we need to change her smelly diapers on the go, has a little Gucci logo there, it's so cute. She has a little portable change mat. So the toy box is from CMP Baby and the brand is Bebe Care. So we got quite a lot of our furniture supplied by CMP Baby and Bebe Care. I will link that down below in the description bar where you can grab this and a few of the other items that we have in the room are also from there as well. So I'll show you guys and you'll absolutely love them. So this is her bedside table which matches to her um, chest of drawers. So we don't really have anything in here right now. I actually have the letters of her name in here. So we did have her name on display in the room but we took it down for this video because we decided that we're going to share the name once she's born. So I did ask Ricky if he wanted to share it in this video today, but he said no, that he wanted to wait until she's born. So you guys will have to wait a few more weeks to find out what her name is. So her name will be across here later on, so you can just visualize that there. And I did get this little toy stacker from Pottery Barn, which is so cute. So it has one, two, three, four... Four toys, I couldn't count. So they're just little battle toys and I thought they were cute for when she's a newborn because I can just throw them in her pram or her cot or, well she won't be in her cot, so her bassinet or give it to her in her rocker and they're tiny and she's got so many to choose from and they rattle so I thought they were really cute. And then down here we have a few more books. So this is the Peter Rabbit and Jemima Puddle Duck, I think it's called Little Books. So they're a little library of all tiny little books and I thought they were so cute and I loved Peter Rabbit growing up so I had to get those for her as well. So this is her rocking chair so I thought I would jump on here show you guys how it works. <laughs> so it's just a rocking chair so hopefully I'm able to feed her naturally but if not we can give her her bottles on this chair and I got her some, I think these are called Jelly jelly cat bunnies and I got her a really big one and a little baby one. So we got her the bunnies in grey, so we got her the bunnies in grey to match her grey and white Gucci blanket. So her room is definitely more neutral tone. So the walls are like a light nude coffee colour, the carpet's very soft brown and we have a lot of touches of pink. So we did want to throw in a tiny bit of grey just so the room had a little bit of all different touches of colour. So these little bears are going to sit here. And the chair I'm obsessed with. So this is also from Bebe Care, which we got from CMP Baby. So this is her cot. So the bassinet is going to be for maybe the first, I don't know, nine months, however long she stays in there. And then when she's a big girl, she's going to move into her cot. So this is one of the ones that goes up and down, but I'm not very good at displaying it. So I'm not going to show you guys today, but this one does slide up and down. So when she first moves in, we'll probably keep it down and then move it up when she gets a little bit bigger and can jump up. And we do have the mattress all the way high right now just because when she is first in it, she's probably still going to be quite small. And then we're going to move the mattress down later on. So I don't have any bed linen yet. I just have a set of sheets on here. But later on, I really want to get a cute quilt and some cute cushions. Obviously not for her to sleep with, but just for decorations and I was thinking about putting one of the bumpers on here because I think they look really cute 
with the little bows but I haven't heard the best things about them so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get one yet and then if you come closer we have a little mobile so I'll let you hear how cute the song is I just think it's so cute so does anyone remember this song when they were a baby I remember this song so clearly so I'm going to turn it off so we can keep talking so I flip that on and then I can just turn it off if I don't want it on anymore and um, I can't remember where I got this from but I saw it in store months ago I think I was only like two or three months pregnant and that was one of the first things that I bought so I fell in love with this when I saw it I just thought the little teddies were so cute and I think she's gonna love them and the cot is also by Bebe Care which is also from CNP Baby they definitely hooked it up so I'm really excited for baby to finally be sleeping in this and then this is her pram. So this is the famous Jeremy Scott and Cybex pram. So I'm sure you've seen this pram all over Instagram and this is by the brand Cybex and this was designed in collaboration with Jeremy Scott who's actually the, um, what's it called? The fashion designer or whatever for the brand Moschino. So, I'm really excited to have her in this. So this is the, they say it's suitable for like newborn to onwards, but this is more like the toddler seat. So we are going to get her the carry cot, which is like the bassinet that they can lie in. But we've just got this on here for now since we don't have that yet. And we do actually have the Cybex car seat, which is interchangeable. So when she's sitting in the car, if she's sleeping and we don't want to wake her up, or if we just really quickly got to drop her off to one of our parents' house, we can just pop her out of that and pop it on. So that's really cool. So there are three parts that we can have on this pram. So this one, the bassinet, and the car seat. So I'm really excited for this pram. And I love that it's black and gold because if you've seen any of our house, a lot of our decor is black and gold. So it's going to fit in perfectly. So as I mentioned, this is from the brand Cybex. And we also got this from CMP Baby. So CMP Baby is pretty much a one-stop shop for everything. So yeah. So when you open up her wardrobe, here are all of the clothes that we have for her so far. So on this side, this is like her summer wardrobe. So from pretty much birth to say six months old, these are the clothes that I have for her so far. And then over on this side is from around six to nine months onwards which are all her bigger clothes and all of her winter clothes. So I do have a separate video coming on all of my baby essentials and my favorite brands to buy clothes from. So I'm gonna show you guys that in another video, but I'll just show you a quick close up of some of the things that I love. So these are all of her little bikinis. So I have to show you guys these now. So these two are actually the same bikini, just in different colors. I love this one, it's like my favorite. And this is one of her little tiny bikinis. So this will be like the first one that she wears and then my favorite part is her little hat that goes with her semi costume so that's what she's gonna look like when she's slaying on the beach this summer so up here I just have all of her little headbands and little knickknacks that I don't really have anywhere to put so I keep them up here and then we have pretty much all of her stuff up here that we don't need to open yet so we've got her bottles some bed stuff her baby carrier her monitor so that's going to be the camera we set up when she's sleeping in here alone and just a few other things but i'll save that for another video to show you guys and then this side is pretty much all her outfits for like three months onwards so when she's out of her little plain little rompers she'll be wearing some of her cute little outfits so she has so many cute little things that i just can't wait to put her in and then i just have a few more rompers over here just the ones that i like and they're a little bit more fancy and the other ones I keep in here and even though I'm really excited for summer and the bikinis and the cute little dresses I'm really excited for the winter clothes so I got her a matching robe to me which is so cute so this is for like nine months onwards and she'll be matching with me because I have the exact same one and I just love all of her little winter outfits they're so cute and her little jumpers I got these from Zara and they're so cute so yeah and i have to show you guys this otherwise ricky will get upset but my dad bought this for ricky and it's a little arsenal jersey and shorts so that's going to be really cute when she's watching the soccer with her daddy <laughs> and then down here we have all of her little shoes so these are all of the shoes that we have for her so far so she has all of her little sandals down here and then some of her little winter shoes 
and then all of her little sneakers and booties on the other side. So I'm really excited until she can fit into all of these shoes. So in our bathroom is where we have her little washing station. I'm sorry if it's a bit echoey in here, but it has no carpet or anything. So I can't really help that. So initially we were gonna have this change table inside her nursery, but we decided it took up too much space and decided to put the tray on top of her drawers instead. So we decided to make this a little washing station. So her bath actually fits perfectly up here. So we got this little chair bed thing. I think it was from Baby Bunting, which is an Australian baby store and it has a little pillow and it's really soft so she can lie on that when she gets her bath. And I love that this bath has a little section here to put like soap and her wash. So if you go down here to the next level, she has all of her little soaps. I'm so sorry if it's a bit dark, but she has Cetaphil and she has an Aveeno one. And then she has this brand called Thank You. It's not focusing. So she has quite a few washes. So I thought we'll get her a few. And this one was actually a gift just to see what she likes and what works for her skin because I know a lot of washes can dry out baby's skin. So we decided not to go for Johnson & Johnson because we just didn't hear the best things about them. So these are the brands that we're gonna be trying on her. And over here we have all of her towels. So we have a little mini mouse hooded towel that my mum bought. And then back here we just have some more towels. I'm sure we'll get a lot more, but this is what we have for now. So that is everything that we have to show you guys for the nursery tour today. So little Bob is going to be here really soon. And I actually found out she's actually going to be here sooner than what we think. And I'll explain that in another video because I am going to film a baby things haul and a Q&A this week. So any questions that you have, leave down below. Anything you want to know in regards to baby things, I'm going to show you everything. So I already have tons of questions that I got my Instagram fam to ask me. But if you have any other questions that you want to see in another video, list it down below and I will cover that in my next video. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and I'm so glad I finally got to show you guys her room and now we just need to show you guys the baby when she's here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.